Um, <clears throat> but what it is, is it's a texturized paint. So it is like a really gritty gesso that's already tinted. So I'm going to read it to you. It's an indoor outdoor paint. So there's that. And it says, um, it's a thick paste, paste like paint that can be applied, layered and distressed to create an authentic weathered by the coast look. So it's indoor outdoor. You apply it with a spatula or a brush, create peaks using a tapping motion, dry two hours, and then sand to the desired effect. Um, so here's the thing though, is it has this texture to it. So I'm gonna show it to you here before I move the camera over. And I just wanna show you how thick this paint is. Bloop. Yes, and what you probably can't tell, I'm gonna smell it for you. It has almost no odor. It's a very light acrylic paint smell. And I have to get that close to even smell it. But what this reminds me of is like a thin whipped spackle. I mean, you can here, I'm gonna bring it up here so you can see. When I move the camera, you'll see even more. But do you see like how it holds peaks? So really this would be great on a canvas. And what you may or may not be able to see, you see those little kind of grains inside? There are, yeah, there you can see when I move it, there it is. You see those little bumpies? So it has this sandy texture to it. And then the idea is, is that once it dries, you can sand that off and it gives it that weathered beachy look. And as we know, distressed furniture is still way hot and way in. All right, let's take a look at those swatches now that they are dry on black. I have to tell you, these are just incredibly vibrant, um, which is one of the things I like about them. Again, they are super matte. And now that they're dry, I don't see a whole lot of chalky uh, rub off necessarily, but we do have the white. Um, I'm gonna put the colors down below because it's just enough to tell you. But here you can tell the difference between the white and the sand dollar. And that beautiful brown actually shows up really nice on black paper. Um, they are all very, very opaque, thick paints. Okay, well since I put the cart before the horse and I showed you the swatches first, now I'm gonna actually show you me using the paint. And this is recorded from a Periscope live broadcast, so it's a little bit grainy, but you can definitely see the texture of the paint, which is what I want you to see. Um, now I found that when I opened it up out of the container, there was no separation. It was very homogenized. It looked like it was just ready to go, so I didn't spend a lot of time stirring it. Now this is, again, a very thick paint, and I'm actually applying it with the palette knife so that you can see just how it holds those kind of peaks and valleys. Um, the colors blend really well with each other. It's actually really fun to kind of mix them and play with them. But I'm gonna warn you, when it is wet, it is very glossy, and you kind of think that's what you're gonna get. But as I showed you in those first samples, no. It dries very, very matte. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually show it me um, diluting it down for you. So for this I did a base coat and then I added just a little bit of the seal gray and some water just to see it kind of blend out and you can get kind of a diluted stripey effect. There's still a lot of pigment and a lot of texture in the paint regardless. So for this next little clip, I wanted to actually deliberately mix two different colors and make a third color, uh, which I did here with the sand dollar and I think this is the high tide. And I just mixed it together. Again, it mixes very easily. Um, I think you could probably add some other colors if you wanted to tint it um, because it's all an acrylic mixture. It's all acrylic based. So I actually mixed this up and then I decided to actually kind of smear it through a stencil because this is a textural paint I wanted to see how it would look through the stencil and et voila it actually holds up really well as a stenciling medium. Okay now I wanted to show you the ones that I stenciled. Um, the paper did wrinkle a little bit but here they are all done. Now remember I said that this has a chalky finish? Note that this has a very very matte appearance which is kind of cool and I wanted to take this moment to actually go ahead and add another product on top just to see if it bleeds or moves. So this is all nice and dry. And I'm gonna throw some fireworks product on top and we'll see what happens here. I'm gonna get a baby wipe just to see if it lifts or moves, if it resists or absorbs. You know, 
it's funny. It um, this product, by the way, is is not really water based. It, it grabs really quickly. But I see that the product is still matte. The coastal paint is still matte underneath. Okay, so here I've got a dry tag and I kind of applied it thickly with a spatula. And what I'm gonna do now is just sand that away and see how it acts afterwards. Just wanna break that down a little bit and get that sanded effect. Okay, so it is pretty smooth now. It's still obviously a very thick application, but it looks really good. And you can see that I've knocked the tops off of it, but it still has that kind of weathered look. Let's try stamping on top of it. Well, I think this is a win. Um, it's gonna take a minute to dry but I feel like you absolutely can stamp on top of it. So I actually repeated this with three different kinds of inks and they all responded a little bit differently, but this is an acrylic paint so you can stamp on top of it. I also did a little wash of like a thin acrylic green paint just to see if it would layer and surprise it does. So this is actually a really versatile product to have. Now I'm just going to show you a little sneak peek of a project I'm working on for you. I'm working on a little canvas project, but right now you can still go over and see the shell treasure box that is uh, a nice little video and a blog post. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this overview and demo of the Coastal Texture Paint. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and as always, have a crafty day.